Welcome into the video, everybody. Now, it's essentially been confirmed where the best spot to farm. Super rare uniques like the Shaco is going to be. There's other ones like the Grandfather, Doombringer, etc., etc. If you've been paying attention the last few weeks, it's going to be no surprise to you. But there's been some new information, and it's pretty much absolutely definitive now. So we're looking at a tweet by Adam Jackson, one of the developers on Diablo 4. His tweet reads, hello, I want to clear things up. Details on the rarest unique items in Diablo 4. They can drop from 85 enemies. You get them anywhere you can get a regular unique and they always drop with 820 item power. We currently have six of them in the entire game, so out of the tens of thousands, and I think even millions and millions of hours played on this game, there's only, only been six of any of these super rare uniques dropped, and there are six of them. So I believe we haven't even found, out of an entire community, all of the incredibly rare uniques. So for the final point, he just says, they are incredibly rare. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at all of them right here. First up, the Doombringer, uh, core skill damage, more damage, lucky hit, 5% chance to heal for 800 life. So that's pretty much life leash, but only on a 5% of lucky hit. 12 to max life upon 20% chance to deal uh, 5,000 shadow damage to surrounding enemies and reduce their damage done by 20% for 5 seconds. And that's on a lucky hit. The Grandfather over here, huge amount of damage, obviously. 30% increased damage, max life, all stats. Ignore durability loss. So if you're finding a grandfather, you probably have a godly character. You're probably not dying, so you probably don't need to worry about that anyways. But increase your critical strike damage by a huge percent. So I'm not sure about these exact items. They got to be the exact stats that you're going to get. But one suspicious thing, look down at the level requirement for wearing these. They say 65. Now, that seems kind of odd. So these must be just like uh, kind of mock-ups they had with the actual official stats on them for these exact examples. Looking over at the other ones here, uh, Spring of the Starless Skies, resistances, not super important in this game at this point, but lucky hit, crit strike chance, crit strike damage, core skill damage, and uh, consecutive core skills cast reduces the resource of your next core skill by 8% up to 40. So that could be an incredibly useful one for uh, resource management. You could free yourself up a bunch of skill points and stuff you use on other things in order to uh, put into maybe increasing your damage and stuff because you won't have as much problem with resource generation. So over here, the Andarl's Visage, all stats, attack speed, life steal. As far as I'm aware, that's the only percent life steal in the entire game. Lucky hit chance, or lucky hit, 19% uh, chance to trigger a poison nova for that damage. So that's kind of an homage to the older Andarl's Visage, also getting the life leech and attack speed as well. Now we're looking at the big daddy, the one that everybody wants, Harlequin Crest, AKA the Shaco. So we've got a max life cooldown reduction Resource generation, all stats, 13% damage reduction. On top of that, in addition, you gain four to all ranks. So absolutely massive right there. And the melted heart of Selig. All resistance, we got all stats, core skills, damage while healthy, resource generation, and 30% max resource. In addition to when you take damage, uh, drain six resource for every one life you would have lost instead. So... It's essentially like a energy shield, sort of, <laughs> sort of, from Diablo 2. Now, so looking at that right there, any item, any monster over 85 can drop that item. And interestingly enough, you see the actual, uh, one of the confirmed Shakos, it was level 87. Now, I know it's all lit, written in Korean, you might not be able to see it. But, yes, that means the uh, item is just 87. They found this at an incredibly low level, which is wild. Now... Which ones are going to be the absolute best locations to find these? Now, they already confirmed it that the Nightmare Dungeons have increased drop odds rather relative to other places. Now, on top of that, they said they were going to boost up the drop odds in the Nightmare Dungeons even further and along with the experience and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that right now that is the best place that you're going to find things like the Harlequin's Crest and all this rest of stuff. Along with that, uh, it's even going to get better and better as they boost it up, because that's where they want you farm in endgame. They don't want you spamming some glitch thing to where the seller keeps spawning over and over again. They don't want you to keep hitting some overworld dungeon over and over again. They want you to go hit these nightmare dungeons. And on top of that, um, just as it seems like the higher level you get to drop legendaries, like if you're level seven, you're not dropping legendaries. You get to level 15, you get some. You get to level 20, there's more and more and more and more. If I had to suspect the higher the level you are, the better chance you have of finding these incredibly rare uniques as well. So super high nightmare dungeons. That's where you're going to want to try to find these incredibly rare uniques.